hello and welcome back so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be creating a spline ik for things like tails the spinal cord and so on and so forth so i'm going to come to maybe the front view and create uh, a series of joints so i am just going to create joints and uh, i'll use the snap to grid and just create several Round six, so I've snapped to grid so that it's straight over there. Now, uh, my joints are too small, so I just come over here to display animation joint size and reset this to around one, actually one, like that, so that at least I have that. So that's what we're having. Now we're going to have to use a spline uh, for this. So we're going to come in here and draw a spline. So I'll come in here to create CV curve. So I'll use a CV curve and I'll use one linear, just one linear for this one. Um, you could use any of the others. Uh, let me use one linear. So I'll snap to point so that I can create a control vertex in the middle of each of these joints, right in the middle like that. So I have that in there. I have the curve over there, control curve. And uh, what I want to do is now I'm going to come in here and use the spline IK. So just zoom in on there and then come to skeleton, create a spline IK handle, but come to its settings. And normally you will find it like this. So remove these two. Uh, so that you can create your own because normally it's going to give you about four spans over here four spans uh, Add a root twist mode and make sure it's easy in is out like that But here if you leave these on it creates its own curve, which we do not want. So let me leave it like that so that now I will need to come in and Pick my first joint and then come up here pick your last joint then finally you have to come in and pick the curve like that and now there is your chain right now once i have that chain i also need to put some controls here i need to put some controls but let me just show you what happens with this that now if i select our curve and go to the component mode of that curve the control vertex i can actually select a component in there so control vertex, pick a vertex over there. I can easily now use that. Let me remove this. I can use this to sort of bend or control this. So I want to put some controls on this and uh, I'll create myself a nice circle first. A nice circle down there. And, uh, center it, center the zero to zero, zero. That will be our main, main control over there and uh, maybe increase its size slightly. Main control over there, so edit, delete by type, history, and modify freeze transformations over there. So then I'll create a few more. I'll use the side view over here, and I'll duplicate this, duplicate that, and once I duplicate it, I'll need to come in here and rotate it, uh, rotate it along the z-axis, maybe, let me try 90 over there and yeah 90 degrees and then i make this one smaller you know maybe something like that maybe somewhere there uh, let me hide the grid so it is easier for us to see somewhere there all right so i can't see my joints nicely so let me select all of them and put them in a layer and then change the color of my layer so oh, sorry change the color of my layer to something like yellow of sorts here. That one is easier to see. So now that I have this one here, it's somewhere there, that is fine. And then I'm going to duplicate several more. And this one actually, let me move it out. Let me use snap to point and I'll just do that. It snaps to the middle over there. So I'll pick this one again, we'll shift and drag one up there. One, two over there and three and uh, 
fourth one somewhere here. So I'm having all this, and each one of them now I could snap them to point uh, like that. So this one snaps to a point there, this one, and finally that one there. Remove snap to point, select all this, and I'm going to move them back slightly somewhere there. Okay. So now that I have that, all right, now I need to change their pivot center so that I bring their pivot centers over here to this area, to the center of the joint. So what I do is uh, hit insert key and then I'm going to snap to point over there and I'm just going to do that. All right, so that the pivot center comes there. So this one the same, this pivot center there. And this one, uh, make sure you hit insert key and oops, don't rotate, just snap it there. And this one again, do that. And this one, uh, do that. That is fine. And this one is fine where it is. So uh, hit the insert key to get rid of that. Now, we need now to link these to, to parent our components in there. Uh, let me hide the joint so that we we need to let me hide the curve as well so that we have this one. So these control vertices we need to parent them to this, but there's no way of doing that unless we create clusters. So I'm just going to create clusters from up here coming down. So so I'm going to select this one and come to deform cluster. See that it creates a nice small C over there. So now I need to come to component mode so that I can see them all. So I select that and uh, deform cluster like that. And then I come to the next one over here and hit G to repeat. Come to the next one here, hit G. Come to the next one here, hit G. And finally come to this one here and hit G. So I've created the clusters and here are the clusters. So that simply means even if I'm not in component mode, I can select a cluster. All right, oopsie. I can select any cluster over here and I can still, let me move that, I can still move this one over here. Uh, oops. Yeah, let me select the curve. So the cluster here, we can be able to select the cluster and move the cluster in any direction that we wish. So let me undo the movement of that cluster. There we are. So now we parent this cluster to this. So parent, I select those two, sorry. I select this cluster and then shift the first, uh, this cluster then control, select the first circle over there. Oh, it's the last one, sorry. This cluster, then that, then parent. So that now, when I move this circle, it moves everything like that. All right, so I come to the next cluster there, shift, select this, and P. Come to the next one, shift, select this one, and P. Come to the next one, shift, select this one, and P. Come to the next one, shift, select this one, and parent. And finally come to this one, shift, select that one there, and parent. Okay, so now that we have that, <coughs> it means if I select these ones here, at least everything is parented nicely. So now what I need to do is I need to come in and parent these ones going down. All right, going down. So select these and this, shift that, then P. So that this is the parent of that. Then select this one, then shift that one, then parent. Then select this one, then shift select that one and parent select this one then shift select that one and parent then finally this one then shift select this and parent all right so now what does that do that makes this one the parent of the entire thing all right let me unhide my joints so that you see so unhide my joints there we are so that now I have this one working nicely so that if I were to select them now like that, uh, if I select all of them, uh, let me come over here and I select all this nicely, all of them. If I were to come in and, oopsie, there's one to select, yeah. Or if 
I select all of these nicely, all of them, like that, and I rotate them, see, now you're getting something like that. All right, so we are having a nice control over here, and if I do that, you see, it twists quite nicely. So we're having that. There we are. Now, one thing we totally forgot to do for most of these was to freeze the transformation on the X, which you need to freeze the transformation so that uh, it's easy for you to uh, revert back to the kind of a straight uh, spline, the, the original bind pose, sort of. So make sure you re remember to freeze transform so that you do not have any troubles later. So this is the parent over here, and uh, you can move it, you can actually move this one anyway, uh, anyway you, you so wish, all right? So uh, I'll leave it at that, and uh, then you continue practicing, and you'll get better at this. So also remember the a good naming convention as well.